Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at a procedure called PROC SQL. So this is a very powerful language, and it's a language designed for querying and modifying databases. It's a language simply for um, doing the equivalent of data steps. Um, but it's a language that's used in a whole bunch of programs, Oracle, Access, SPSS. Um, and SQL uses one or more objects called tables. Instead of data sets, use tables, but there basically are data sets. And um, what's brilliant with SAS is that you can use this powerful language from within SAS. So, so quite often people who know SQL can use SAS because they can just do everything they normally do with SQL. Um, and it always starts with PROC SQL, just, just like you would expect it to, and it ends with a quit statement. Um, some, most of the time procedure steps would end with a run statement. Some procedures end with a quit. PROC SQL is one of those. So we're just going to create a copy of a data set. Now we do that using the keyword create table. So create a data set, create a table, and we call the name of the table. We're going to just call it test. And we say uh, the keyword as there. So now we're saying, all right, we're going to create a data set called test. And it's going to be in the work library. So I, so I could put work.test. Oh, I will just for now. As. And so now I say what the... Um, all the code now is going to describe what this new table is going to be. So first of all, I have to select what variables I want, and I'm going to use the keyword star, which simply means all of them. And now I have to say where it's from. So it's from mat008.mmm, and then that's my first semicolon. So this, all this, is basically the first uh, line of the PROC SQL, and then a quit statement. So if I just run that, everything's happened, and I go to my libraries, go to my work library, there's a test data set that is just a copy of the MMM data set. Okay? So we could replace this star with uh, with something else. For example, proc SQL create table test. So I'm, I'm foregoing the work dot because we don't need it. As and now I say right. I actually only want name. And whereas in SAS you'd normally have a space than the variable you want, here you have to have a um, a comma, name, age, and sex. And then I say where I want it from from mat 8mmm Semicolon quit. Semicolon. So if we run that, that's that data set name, age, and sex. All right. Um, we'll do a little bit more. We'll see how we can create a new variable. All right? So proc SQL create table test as we're creating the same thing, and now we create the 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 variable. So name, age, and sex. But I also want weight divided by height in meters squared as BMI. All right, so, oops, sorry, this should be weight in kg divided by height in meters squared as BMI. So create this variable, and this variable is BMI. All right, and then from mat008.mmm, semicolon and a quit, semicolon. So compile that. Take a look at it. We've also now got the BMI there. Okay, so SQL is a very uh, powerful language. Um, uh, the syntax. Uh, some people like it. Some people don't. I actually might be just because I'm gotten used to it by now, and I don't use SQL that often. I, I uh, personally prefer the the data step syntax. But uh, the added value of SQL is that if you know it in SAS, so you know it in in other languages. Uh, and that's everything for this video. In, in, in the next videos, we'll see how to do a few more complex things in PROC SQL.